Hi everyone. I bet all of you have witnessed events that made you believe in miracles. For me, this replay is that sort of event. The Northern Lights map. The standard battle mode. A normal rune and a genuinely incredible sea battle. It was a normal start to a normal battle. Our hero, Kintush4010, cheerfully set forth to the center of the map and, enjoying the smoke cover of an allied Shimikaze, eagerly sent an enemy twin sister to the port. Next, a careless Muskva got a lesson in torpedoes and was finished off with the help of allies. A one-shot Shimikaze became another victim. Three frags scored. I wish at least my every second battle started like this. Okay, every third or fourth would be enough. Anyway, the battle goes on, and we're now witnessing a great tragedy. Two Allied destroyers are hiding in the smoke, but an enemy aircraft carrier randomly blankets them with a single bomber unit. That's a double strike. The following will be added to my personal list of mysteries in World of Warships. An enemy Iowa enters the smoke screen to have some fun in troubled waters. Two Allied Shimakazis readily launch their torpedoes in that direction and... They're going through. None of them hit the target. Iowa's commander, if you're watching this video, please send me this replay. Meanwhile, two enemy battleships avenge two Allied battleships and break through our left flank. Our hero, accompanied by an allied Izumo, has to deal with the intruders. Here comes help from an aircraft carrier. Yamato goes down. Suddenly, an enemy Udaloi rushes out from the island. The destroyer's commander has obviously overestimated the situation and approached the battleship so closely that their torpedoes didn't arm, merely scratching the paint on the Izumo's side. The Allied battleship was so offended that they couldn't cope with the indignation and returned to the port. As for me, I nearly fell off my chair. However, our hero managed to keep his cool and finished off this lunatic kamikaze with one turret and the Iowa with another. A double strike. An Allied Des Moines fell victim to the torpedo attack of an enemy destroyer. So did both Allied Shimikazes destroyed by torpedo bombers. The enemy aircraft carrier got a second double strike. Four against six. Meanwhile, Haroon is engaged in a courteous duel with a British cruiser. Carefully dodging torpedoes, our hero easily sent the Neptune to the bottom. The torpedoes that missed their initial target took it out on an enemy destroyer. Take that for sneaking up. The enemy Essex distinguished herself once again. Her captain must have a special perk, multitasking. How did she manage to destroy both ships almost simultaneously? Maybe her commander was eager to get as many double strikes as possible. My heart is overwhelmed with mourning and admiration. Anyway, we're standing two against four. Judging by the capture speed, three enemy ships entered our base. The Allied aircraft carrier is helping a lot by spotting all three intruders, and our hero is taking up the challenge of trying to decap on all three ships and dodge their shells. Luckily, the Khabarovsk has run out of smokescreen consumables. The rune sets the Baltimore on fire, and our torpedoes hit the Iowa, but in vain. In this highly dramatic moment, we're losing our last ally. Now, the rune is obviously an underdog in this battle, but the events that take place in the following five seconds will remain in my memory forever. The Baltimore burns down. The Iowa is sent to the bottom, and the whirling Khabarovsk gets hit by HE rounds. And this all happens at the same time. Incredible. Be it skill or mere luck, it doesn't matter, because less than a minute remains before the end of the game, and our team is losing by points. Victory is impossible. And here comes that miracle that every player dreams of in a situation like this. For the simultaneous triple frag, our hero gets a unique consumable item. 
teleportation. With the help of radio location, the rune finds the direction to the last enemy ship and teleports there. In my imagination, I can see a glass of champagne slowly falling from the hand of the stunned aircraft carrier's commander. Stop the celebration. Prepare the lifeboats. But the Essex has full HP and time has almost run out. Torpedoes are the only hope. All we can do is watch the timer and hope that the torpedoes reach the target before it runs out. Two seconds left. One second. Boom! Yes! Our hero did it. Now you can see the results of this epic battle on your screens, and if you, my friend, have witnessed battles even more epic than this one, just remember that today is April the 1st. <laughs>